One half down, one half to go. It's now time for second half action with the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, so back in South Field here at Provo, Utah. BYU at Boise State, NCAA tournament first round action, second half action coming up. Cam Tucker with the first half race. Emily Curry answering for the Broncos. BYU starting 11 in half number two, the same as it was to begin the first 45. A date with Louisville awaits tonight's winner. BYU will take it left to right as we see it and you hear it here in half number two. Boise defends the goal to our right, answers right to left. BYU and the Royals tonight, the All Royals, Boise State, the white jerseys, Royal shorts, white socks. And Elise Flake, Cam Tucker over the ball to begin the second 45. Yeah, we're good, good job. There's the whistle. We're underway in the second stanza. Cougars possess right side of the park. Lyman running up the right flank. Defender falls down. Lyman's got a clean cross. The ball rolls to the top of the six to Coolahan. Shot inside post. And just deflected wide. That was a near post trying to squeeze it through a very narrow window. And the keeper helps deflect wide. It results in a corner kick for BYU in the first minute of the second half. Lizzie Braby will take from the attacking right flag. It'll be a right-footed outswinger. Mountain America Credit Union corner kick brought to you by Mountain America, guiding you forward. Far post corner, headed clear and out of the 18 by the Broncos. Falls to Christina Sears. Sears running down the far side of the park from right to left. Backtracking is Serracio. Serracio falls down as she attempts to win the ball. Gets up and does win it. Plays centrally Shepard. Shepard dispossessed by Kynette. Ahead Sears. Ramey Shirley turns on it, plays it off the head of Josie Gwynn into the path of Sears. Sears settles at the top of the 18. A layoff and a look from deep that Shirley sends over the goal line. The BYU goal kick here. The 47th, just underway here in half number two. Alyssa Jefferson, centrally Serracio. Serracio plays Gwynn. Gwynn deep. Off the chest of Flake. Ahead Tucker. Tucker left flank. A shoulder charge there on that left wing. And the ball over the byline. It'll be a goal kick for Boise State in the 47th into the 48th. Sydney Smith plays to the middle third. And the Cougars play long and left. Boise possesses far boundary. It's a bit of a, a more calm start for either team this, this half. I think both teams probably had a chat in the locker room that, yes, the game was very intense, and it was probably an important topic for both coaches to remember that in intense games, we know that soccer can get really crazy. So, I mean, a wise decision from, from both midfielders to kind of control the tempo of the game and just slow it down a little bit, maybe possess a bit more here in this first part of the second half. Lyman, BYU's back line, plays holding mid Shepard. Shepard spins away from Kynette. Kynette fouls Shepard. Foul number 10 against Boise State. Jefferson runs up to a lead from Shepard. Jefferson centrally, Coolahan. Coolahan from the penalty D, whips a shot on goal, one hops to Smith, no trouble there. So save Sidney Smith. And the Broncos prepare to distribute in the 49th minute. BYU 2, Boise State 1. Kind of a calmer start to half number two, right? Yeah, definitely a lot less intensity. A little bit of a quieter crowd, that's for sure.
Affleck long and left for Flake. Flake slid into. And the ball played over the goal line. Corner kick for BYU. Corner number seven in the 49th minute. Attacking left flag. BYU will send in. SJ Affleck will take. It's a quarter kick on the attacking left from Affleck. Drops her left arm. Puts boot to ball. Skies it toward the dot. Knotted down by the Broncos to the top of the penalty area. Collected there by Flake. Flake gave it away. And the Broncos play away to Shirley in the middle third. Step up there by Serracio. And now it's loose in the Cougars attacking half. The Broncos volley toward the center circle. Off the arm of Danica Serracio. It'll be an inadvertent handball and a free kick for Boise State. One of the things that's required from NCAA is for home games, right? There's no there's no sense of home game advantage as as far as like the halftime entertainment. And I I would say maybe the calmer start has to do with some of the fans, right? They just saw, you know, less of the exciting halftime show that we normally see. Jefferson, wide right, Braby. To the end line, across, deflected clear over the goal line by the Broncos. BYU will corner kick once again in the 51st. And again, Braby. 2-1 Cougs. Under 40 minutes to go here in Provo. Low driver. Skips through the goal box. Toe poked out by the Broncos. And Boise will play to the near line and out. BYU will throw. Lining in. Kynet. Shirley. Shirley's central pass is intercepted there by Josie Gwynn with a step up win. Josie lays off Serracio. Too far for Tucker. And Sweeney blasts deep. They'll go all the way to the Cougars' defensive 18. Sabrina Davis will come out of her box and play to Serracio. Jefferson right wing. Coolahan. Slide tackle Curry wins it away from Kayla. Not much doing for Coolahan tonight in the way of buildup. I think it's important for her to just continue to get the ball. She She's a great player, and I we've seen her take on many talented other defensive midfielders and she can take on Emily Curry. She just needs to kind of have the confidence back. So at least Lake hip checked on the near touch line. We've got a Boise player bleeding from the nose so she'll be 10 to 2 at the sideline. That's Macy Nelson. Substitution coming in for the Broncos will be Grace Kaufman Fuller as Nelson checks out to be uh, cared for on the sideline with some blood. So we come back in with a BYU throw in in the 52nd minute. Hopped into Braby. Braby back to Lyman. Lyman running into the right side of the penalty area. Tees up Flake. Flake goes far post, headed toward frame and just wide. I think Affleck may have latched on at the far post. It'll be a goal kick for Boise State in the 53rd. I've kind of mentioned this a couple of times during this broadcast, but a lot of the chances that Boise State's having are, you know, they're obviously chances, but with BYU, the chances are, are just so close, right? The very first minute of the game, BYU marches down. Mikhail Coulihan gets a, gets a quick shot off. Obviously had a nice save, but that's kind of the difference between good teams and great teams is the ability to get within inches and closer inches and just kind of um, slice the other, the opponent just little by little, and that's that's kind of what we're seeing here. And I'm, I'm I'm pretty confident in BYU still. Lyman wide right, Flake, Flake wins it past the defender into the 18. At least Flake keeps it on the floor. The ball loose and just cleared by the Broncos. Nobody latching onto the other end for BYU. Broncos play far side of the park near the halfway line. Sears racing Gwyn. Gwyn wins that race. Josie then 
wheeling away from one and two defenders played Shepard. Shepard gets through one and two defenders. Jamie tugged at this play on. Wide right, Braby. Braby running past French. Cross from the goal. Cut back to her left. Well done by Lizzie. Will she get a shot off? No. She instead tees up. And for a shot that's ripped to the frame. And in! Jamie Shepard on the setup from Lizzie Braby. It's a rocket to the left side of the net. And the Cougars take a 3 1 lead. You could hear that shot from over here. She hit that thing so hard. Nobody is stopping that shot. Such a great play by Lizzie Braby to just get the ball down, pretend like she's going end line, just, just cut it back. That's obviously her bread and butter. We've seen her score like that so many times just to get the assist from. And, she, and you, you saw she wanted to get the shot off, but obviously played a smart play to Jamie Shepard, who's just having a great night. 12th assist of the year for Lizzie Braby. And goal number two on the season for Jamie Shepard. She scored her first career goal against Gonzaga two games ago. She scores here to give BYU the ever-important two-goal lead, 3-1. to one. Picked a great time to kind of open up the floodgates for goal scoring, right? Posting, or excuse me, peaking in postseason. BYU in the 54th minute. Taking the 3-1 lead. Last time BYU scored, Boise answered within two minutes. Yep, the next five minutes are definitely crucial, crucial for this BYU defense. Cam Tucker down the right flank. Tucker on the WCC logo. Racing Macy Nelson into the area. Nelson trying to tug on Cal Cam's call for the foul. So, Nelson having to deal with Cam Tucker, and Cam Tucker's call for the hold. Ooh. And some dissent shown by Cam Tucker there. Needs to be careful here. In the 55th minute. It'll be a free kick for Boise State, with the Cougs now leading at 3-1. to one. Yeah, as a player, it's a, definitely a fine line to walk when you're trying to argue with the ref. It can obviously light up the team and get everybody excited to go kind of prove their point, but at the same time, you got to be careful, especially in, in postseason when yellow cards matter. Sabrina Davis rolling it to Danica Sarasio. Sarasio Gwynn at left back. We're in the 55th. BYU's gone from 2-1 to 3-1 on the goal by Jamie Shepard. Just ripped it from the top of the area. It plays wide left to Elise Flake. The Broncos play to the far boundary. Sears will settle there at the touchline. She and Gwynn contest. Sears holding off Gwynn. Winning it from Gwynn and taking her down the far wing. No one home there for Boise State. It'll go all the way to Sabrina Davis in the Cougars defensive 18. Greg Rubel and Avery Walker with you from Southfield. Lyman lays off Jefferson. Should the Cougars hang on here for another 35 minutes, they'll get Louisville. Six nights hence here at Southfield. Cardinals defeating Lipscomb tonight. To earn a trip to Provo should BYU be the victor. Rachel Lyman coming centrally in the center circle. The play is Serracio at the halfway stripe. Left side to Gwynn. Gwynn losing a defender as she comes laterally. Josie. Keeps it on the floor to Flake. Flake a turn and a toe poke away from Elise. A slide and a win and a foul by Elise Flake. She won the ball while fouling. And she won the ball while fouling Michaela Schachtel. BYU's goal scorers tonight. Cam Tucker with the assist to SJ and Shepard. Cam Tucker the assist to Flake. Then Shepard with the assist from Braby. So Jamie's had a good night, a goal and an assist in her first NCAA tournament game. The true freshman from American Fork, Jamie Shepard. Josie Gwynn settles at left back. Her pass is blocked back at her, but falls in the path of S.J. Affleck. S.J. tried to flip the pitch, but gave it away to Chatterton. Chatterton racing to the top of the penalty D. Stood up there by Alyssa Jefferson. Cougars fortunate. That was a giveaway that sent Chatterton in. A shield by Coulihan. She and Curry go to ground. Referee gives a play on. And the play is back to Sabrina Davis. We have a little more than half an hour to go here at Southfield. BYU 3, Boise State 1. Danica Sarasio. 30-yard ball long and left. Threw off the chest of Shaktel. Maybe a hand glance. They let the Cougars play with it. Flake. Tried to go wide right. Skips past Chatterton to Lyman. Ball found its target. Lyman on the WCC logo right side. Taking it down the touchline. Rolling it with the underside of her boot. Stopping it near the goal line. She is knocked over there. 
Nothing called. The ball rolls loose to Jefferson. Jefferson can cross from the deep right. There's the cross at the top of the penalty area. Stopped by SJ. Looking to turn with it is Affleck. SJ still with the ball. Right-footed shot off a ricochet. Will hop to the keeper at the end line. Smith will handle cleanly in the 58th minute. BYU 3, Boise State 1. The punt by Smith. The volley out of the air by Jefferson. It falls to Sweeney. Sweeney targeting Shirley. The 60-goal scorer for Boise State for her career. Quiet so far tonight. Loose ball, far touchline. Into touch, and Boise will throw. This BYU team's having a lot of success this half, of just being able to connect their passes a little more cleanly. In the second half, we were seeing a lot of just, just near misses. Josie Gwynn is hewn down near the halfway line. The clock is stopped, and we may see more than a caution here. We'll see a car, Dave, you think? I definitely think so. I think it's about time. What is this, the 14th the foul? The 11th foul. Oh. <laughs> and carded is Christina Sears. So Sears goes in the book in the 59th minute. BYU maintains its two-goal lead, 3-1. to one. BYU on the year has scored 71 goals, conceded 10. The 10th coming earlier tonight. BYU looking to advance to the second round for the first time since 2016. And that time they had to go on the road to South Carolina. If the Cougars win tonight, they'll be right back here in six nights. That's when things really heat up. You know, it's a two-game weekend if you get one. Yeah, the second weekend in the tournament is a big one. Morgan Stone dispossessing S.J. Affleck. Stone flooring it, targeting Shirley. Got away from her to Serracio. Gwynn, Jefferson. Jefferson high-pressed by Kynette. Runs away from Kynette. Jefferson ahead to Flake. A shield there on Shaktel. Shaktel stays with Flake well. Flake putting it to her right. The pass right past Cam and deep in the area. A fight on the goal line and now Tucker is called for another foul. She got hung up on the byline and fouled. It'll be Boise State free kicking deep in his defensive 18. 31 minutes remain. BYU 3 and Boise State 1. I gotta say I totally respect that foul from Cam Tucker. She's been kind of thrown around down there. Rachel Bingham Lyman also was thrown down around there. It's important to sometimes send the message to the other team that you can't just shove us around. Cam Tucker got things going for BYU. Two goals in the first half, one minute apart. Lizzie Braby sprinting down the right flank. Braby, full sprint to the end line. Sliding two as Nelson knocks out. It'll be another corner kick. That is corner number nine on the night for BYU. Mountain America Credit Union corner kick. Mountain America guiding you forward. Nine to zero, the corner tally tonight. Corner played to the dot. Volleyed out of the air by Coolahan, And played clear by the Broncos. They play it to an open spot near the halfway line. Gwynn, Sears, Serracio all in the neighborhood. Danica actually played into touch. It'll be a Boise State thrill. BYU women's soccer is brought to you in part by Smith's. Did you know that you can have your groceries waiting to be picked up or better yet dropped off at your front door? It's all done online at smithsfoodanddrug.com or on their app on your phone. Download the Smith's app and save time. Shop online. Loose ball, neutral third. Chested down by Lizzie Braby. Braby run up on by the taller Sweeney. The loose ball goes to Shepard. Shepard, Jefferson on the back line. Now the center backs combine. Jefferson and Serracio. Under 30 minutes to go. 3-1 BYU. Shepard. Nice job of keep away in the neutral third. The play is Serracio. Serracio long and left. Off a hop. Chested down by Flake. And on the turn, the fans in the neighborhood, ooh and ah. Boise plays out. Flake will throw in. 61st minute. A defensive play by Sweeney to the center circle. Volleyed out of the air by Kynette. Settled there by Serracio. Serracio's got Lyman on the overlap. The play is to Rachel. Rachel at 50 yards straight away. She's at 40. She's at 30. Looking to play. Cam Tucker. Oh, just couldn't handle the through ball. Last touch couldn't settle it. That was close to putting Cam in for a hat trick. Such a good pass from Rachel. That was, I mean, typically you want a through ball to be in a different window so that the diving run of the forward can actually meet with the pass, but that was actually through the same window and still so accurate. Jamie Shepard with a header. Sweeney with a header. And Lyman with a blast into the attacking half. Now final third that Shaktel will follow. Off a of flake. 
Slide by Shaktel, got the ball, and wins it away from Blake. Nice recovery there by Michaela. Two Michaelas on the field right now. Shaktel for Boise and Coulihan for BYU. Shepard, beg your pardon, Gwynn will back line at Serracio. She and Jefferson, partner. Alyssa now. Laterally Tucker. Tucker with her back to goal, settles it, and plays Coulihan. Coulihan looking to set up a 1-2, but the 1-2 was aborted as Coulihan didn't continue her run off the touch from Flake. So, all the way to Serracio on BYU's back line, courtesy of the Broncos, and Danica, 20-yard ball, Coulihan. Coulihan fouled from behind. Foul number 12 against Boise State tonight to 7 for BYU. Curry, tonight's goal scorer for the Broncos. Whistled. BYU restarts. Shepard. Jefferson. Jefferson Tucker at 20 yards. Wide right, too wide, too deep. Over the goal line. Intended for Braby. It'll be a goal kick for Boise State. We're in the 63rd minute. BYU 3 and Boise 1. Cam Tucker in the 19th. Cam Tucker in the 20th. Jamie Shepard in the 54th. Boise scored one in the 22nd. So the first three goals all came within four minutes of each other to get this thing underway. Coulihan, centrally Tucker. Tucker, top of the penalty D. Fell down as she tried to get deeper in the area. Lost the ball, and Chatterton comes away with it for Boise State. The Broncos making their second ever NCAA tournament appearance. BYU on its 20th. Shepard at the halfway line. Shepard, channel ball, Lyman. Lyman, one-touch cross to Tucker. Tucker in the area, dispossessed. And the Broncos play into touch. It'll be a BYU throw in the Cougars' team area. Greg, we've said it a lot. BYU is just finding Cam Tucker in the box, isn't it? She's been the answer tonight. And she's been uh, something to deal with. And has also played a physical game in response, too, as Braby crosses far post. Headed by Affleck, and it's in! S.J. Affleck dips it out of the bar with a header, and that's 4-1. That cross sent all the way through the area, headed back toward frame. Enough arc on it to dip out of the bar and give the Cougars a three-goal lead. S.J. puts the Cougars up 4-1. Yeah, that was just easy breezy. I don't think anybody in the stadium thought that that was going in just because the amount of goals we've seen tonight are just so quick and powerful and unexpected. But that goal, it was just pretty. just kind of sailed over into the backside of that that netting. Great job to the freshman. Goal number four on the year and the career for the freshman, S.J. Affleck. And with 26 minutes to play, the Cougs have asserted firm control of this match with a three-goal lead. Coulihan draws another foul. Foul number 13 of the 20 fouls. 13 go against Boise tonight, and the Cougars restart. S.J. Affleck on the cross from Lucy Praby. Cross from Lyman this time. And off the head of Sweeney, off the boot of a Coug to the near side of the area. Lyman, someone fouled there for BYU before the Cougs could get deeper in the penalty area. Lyman was trying to get toward the goal line, and that's whistled down. It'll be a foul against BYU. They say an elbow was thrown by the Cougs in the build up there. So Lizzie Braby, two assists tonight. And what a year she's had as a distributor. 13 assists on the season. Yeah, she's so good and so dynamic from this side of the field. She just gets the ball at the corner of that 18, cuts it back, and is just able to dis- distribute or score. It just depends on the night. Now, she came into the year with five assists. She's at 18 for her career now. Yeah, something about her senior year has just really, I don't know if it's confidence or maybe just experience, but either way, she's she's found it. And Lyman's half-cross, half-shot is caught by Sidney Smith in the 66th minute. BYU 4, Boise State 1. The Cougars scored the first two, Boise 1, the Cougars the next two. So the Cougars sandwiching a Boise goal with two of their own in each half to go up 4-1. to one. Looking more likely that Louisville will come to Provo next Thursday night. Alyssa Jefferson, centrally on Chatterton. Alyssa, still ball at her boot. Wide right, Braby, the distributor, cutting it to her left. Last touch gave her away, and Boise then plays into touch off Chatterton. It'll be a BYU throw. It throws into Braby. The plays to the neutral third, settled there by Lyman. Lyman sees Gabby Gillespie give some pressure. Centrally, Serracio on the back line. Serracio, Gwynn. 
They'll go all the way to keeper. Allow Alyssa Jefferson some time to get back in position. Sab will play it near side. Step up. Win there by Chatterton. Giveaway. Chatterton. Gillespie. Gillespie couldn't latch onto it at the top of the area. And the Cougars play clear. A flick on by Braby. Cam Tucker. Beyond the defense. With Nelson. Cam. Plays Elise Flake. Elise. A left footed shot. And a score! And that will do it at 5 to 1. Cameron Tucker and Boise State center back had kind of gone arm to arm a couple of other times. And, and the previous time, Cam Tucker actually went down because it, it kind of looks like a foul. But, but this time, she just muscled through it, found the ball, cut it back, was able to feed Elise perfectly. And that's the best part about having two really good forwards is if you get one with the ball who scored two goals tonight, the center backs are worried. So they draw towards them and then opens up Elise Flake. Cam Tucker scores twice in the first half. Sets up Elise Flake in the second half. And Flake, who set up Tucker in the first half for a goal, gets one of her own. Elise Flake, for the 19th time this year and 39th time in her Stelly BYU career. And the Cougs make it 5-1. Hey, Coach Thomas called it. He said lots of goals, right? Loads of goals. He said loads of goals. <laughs> They've had that tonight. Now, not the way you'd like to see it. I but <laughs> that said, six scored five by the Cougars. Lizzie Braby racing down the right flank. And the Cougars have all but booked passage into the second round here tonight at Southfield. This was dicey at 2-1. At 2-1, it's a, it's, it's, it's a game, and, and Boise feels comfortable in doing what they're doing with BYU. But second half, all Cougs, great response as Lebeni Vaca will check in and Josie Gwynn will check out for BYU on the back line. So Alyssa Jefferson will go to left back. Lebeni will play center back with Serracio and Josie. will take handshakes from Jen Rockwood in the team area. BYU 5 and Boise State 1 Within a 14-minute span here in the second half, BYU scores goals 3, 4, and 5. You talk about those five-minute intervals and how important they are because you just have to take momentum, and when it comes, you need to fight like heck to keep it. And that's exactly what BYU's done tonight. I think this is going to send a really good message to you know, future teams coming onto Southfield that, that BYU has, right, like they, they're able to find the net, especially on their home turf. Well, all time, BYU's had only four goal scorers hit 40 or more, and Elise Flake is one way, one goal away from that tally. She's at 39 in fifth place all time. The great Ashley Hatch of the Washington Spirit at 47 is next up in fourth place. Ramey Shirley, Boise's program and the conference's leader in goals and points, quiet so far tonight on 60 career goals coming into the evening. BYU down the left wing. In a 5-1 match. Flake trying to fight through defenders and does while being accosted all the way there. And now a stoppage. The official's going to stop play here with 21.35 to go. What did you and he see there, Abe? Is it just a, uh, a talking to? I think he, yeah. I think it's just it's uh, Curry trying to deal with maybe Elise Flake. and Just kind of gave her a little bear hug. <laughs> We'll see Kendall Peterson, McKaylee Moore check in for BYU. The Cougs have this thing under control and in hand at 5-1. to one. BYU's goal tally on the year has now gone to 74 with 10 conceded. I beg your pardon, 73. Came into tonight with 68, right? 68 goals scored, yeah, to 73 with 10 allowed. A plus 63 goal differential will uh, do some good things for you. Leveni Vaca. On the Cougar rear line as a defender slip and fall as she turned the ball away from her. That's Keeley Hansen. The play is Serracio, Serracio, Jefferson. Jefferson having moved inside to outside here late in the game. Targeting Flake. At least touched out. It'll be a Boise throw. 20 and change to play here at Southfield. BYU will be moving on, it would appear. It would take something totally unforeseen and borderline disastrous for this the game to turn at 5-1. It's all Cougs right now. I'm positive that every time BYU scores five goals, they actually win the game. Cam Tucker sent wide right and into the area. Tucker gets herself deep in the 18 and plays right into the chest of Sidney Smith. Tough angle there for Cam. Not much to do once she got to the goal line and the angle she was at. Yeah, she does a good job of, of doing what Coach Rockwood asks. I know in lots of post games. Um, BYU has, has been told, like, hey, it's going to come from across. Just keep crossing the ball. And Cam Tucker is obviously Lizzie Braby. They're kind of partners in that, getting the ball crossed off from the right side. 
Boise seeking a counter from back to front. Keely Hansen. Sees the ball taken away, and BYU plays into the attacking half and all the way into touch. A little bit of a lull right now for BYU in terms of connectivity as the Broncos will throw in in their defensive half of the pitch. BYU led the nation in attendance this year, leading still, I should say. 3,242 coming into tonight. And tonight's line the fence line standing room only crowd will certainly add to that number. It appears the Cougs will indeed end the year, having led the NCAA in attendance in, for the fourth time in five seasons. A great recognition for this program. Left wing giving chase Lily French. French sizing up Lyman. Lyman gives her the angle toward the end line. The cross goes to the top of the penalty area. And off a ricochet. Over the goal line, BYU goal kick, and substitutions. Here comes Ellie Mon, Kendall Peterson, and Michaela Moore. Elise Flake will check out. Michaela Coulihan's night is likely done. And SJ Affleck. Flake a goal scorer, SJ a goal scorer. Michaela Coulihan, Conference Player of the Year. These are Zions Bank substitutions. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. I love the idea of keeping Cam Tucker in. Typically when you, you have a player who's played many minutes but is just on the edge of a hat trick, most coaches will keep them in. So when you stay on the field in, in a position like hers, you can kind of see her shoulders come back and the players kind of look at her like, okay, it's your turn. Let's go get number three. Sabrina Davis plays away on the goal kick. Sweeney steps up to head down to Vaca. Ooh, Vaca took down Ramey Shirley and Vaca's going in the book. That'll be a card on Leveni Vaca. That was... It's quite the run-in with Shirley. And Boise State will now get a free kick at about 25 yards on the Vaca foul with 18.02 to play. BYU Women's Soccer presented in part by Mountain America Credit Union and Mountain America's Visa credit cards featuring competitive rates as well as rewards and cash back options. Learn more at macu.com. And Shirley is injured. Slow to get up and being helped off the pitch. So Vaca clattering into Shirley, who's in considerable pain as she comes off, putting very little weight on her left leg. So left knee or ankle or shin got hit and or twisted, and she's coming out. And that may be her night on a night that's been all BYU in the second half. Ella Ballstedt in for Lizzie Braby. Braby, two assists on the evening. No Zions Bank substitutions coming in courtesy of Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. All right, free kick Broncos here with 18.02 to play and BYU leading it by a score of 5-2. Tonight's attendance indeed surpassing the average we gave you of 32-42. 36-82 is tonight's number. Free kick taken and sent well over the crossbar by Michaela Schachtel. It'll be a BYU goal kick in the waning moments here at Southfield. So, BYU and Louisville look next to meet Thursday night. My dad is a Louisville alumni, so I'll have to bring him down. Alumni against alumni. We'll see what happens on the other side of the Cougars bracket. Arkansas would be the seeded team to help come to, to come down from that side. Again, if the seeds hold, Arkansas and NC State would become, I think, NC State already won tonight. We'll have intern Max get you the uh, results of the scores in the BYU bracket. NC State had Navy tonight, Arkansas, North Texas. Whether that was today or tomorrow, I'd need to double check on that one. But you know that Louisville won and sets up a meeting with BYU should the Cougars hang on to this 5 1 lead with 17 minutes to play. A loose ball at the halfway line, won by the Broncos. To play Chatterton at the far touch line. Chatterton goes centrally. Sweeney, left wing French. Turnick turns it back. NC State indeed defeated Navy by a score of 3 0 tonight. And we need to find out when uh, Arkansas and North Texas were playing, and that was Arkansas tonight as well. They won it 3 0. So the seeds are holding in the Cougars' quadrant. 
It'll be Arkansas, NC State, Louisville, and BYU here at Southfield next weekend. Of course, BYU with some work to do here to finish it out, but leading it by four with 16 minutes to play. But the other favored teams have one to advance. So Arkansas would take on NC State. Louisville would take on BYU. Those games 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock next Thursday here at Southfield. BYU with the nightcap, of course. And the two winners meet Saturday at 6. That would be for an advancement to the Elite Eight. Ball played off of BYU over the Boise goal line. As the, as the tone here settles just somewhat into a quiet comfort at 5-1, to one, 15 minutes to play. But Cougar Nation is still here. There's no line walking out due to the the big lead here. They're, they're staying. They're ready for some victory celebration, much like they were the other night when uh, BYU came away with that conference championship. On senior night. Mm-hmm. Almost 4,000 fans on hand tonight to watch BYU and Boise State. Cougars a four-goal lead late. This Boise team, which hosted the Mountain West Conference Tournament, will do it again next year as this year's one seed. They win the right to host the 2020 version. Ellie Mon plays Cam Tucker at the halfway line. Big night for Cam. Two goals and an assist. Tucker leads Moore. Moore a one touch. And the flag is up on Ella Ballstead down the right flank. This Boise team placed four players on the all Mountain West Conference first team. Chatterton, Kynette, Shaktel, and Shirley. BYU with three on the all-WCC first team. And Shirley, although she's left the match injured late, prolific goal scorer. Five career hat tricks, seven career two-goal games, 60 goals for her Boise career. The program and the conference's all-time leading scorer. And her night and career may have ended in pain here at Southfield. She was taken down late. BYU was carded as a result. Foul on Boise State as Turnek took down Peterson. We have 14 minutes to play here at Southfield. Well, under Coach Jim Thomas, the Broncos will tonight fall to 0-24-4 when trailing games at halftime. BYU was up 2-0 at the break and have added to it here in the second half. This Boise team, a lot to be proud of. Record number of wins, record number of conference wins, record number of goals in the high 40s for Boise this year. This team can... Put the pressure on you offensively. Hasn't been their night on offense, but BYU is certainly worthy of its national ranking and seeding coming in two tonight and playing like a two seed, winning at five, leading at 5-1 with 13 and a half to go here in Provo. Yeah, they've done a really good job of coming in and playing like the team that they know they are. We've kind of talked a lot about how Jen Rockwood has had to remind them who they are, kind of help them figure out that, that very good, high caliber team and have that identity as you come onto the pitch each night and they totally brought that especially in the second half in that 15 minute in that 15 minute uh, span there Broncos win a free kick at the center strike kick taken by Shaktel chested down by French she sizes up ball set the play comes centrally to Turnek Jennifer Turnek flips the pitch from left to right 12 and a half to go. BYU 5, Boise State 1. Deep into BYU's penalty area. Sarasio heads it down, and the Broncos play toward frame, but side netting. It'll be a goal kick for Serena Davis. And BYU will bring in two more subs. Brindley Bueller and Ashton Brockbank coming in on Zions Bank substitutions for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge Zions Bank is for you. Tucker's out, Lyman's out. Cam Tucker, two goals and a helper tonight for BYU. Greg Rubel and Avery Walker with you. We'll be back, back with you next Thursday. Again, all that's left to do is hang on to a four-goal lead here. BYU 5 and Boise State 1. First year that Jen Rockwood coached at BYU. BYU did not play in the NCAA tournament. Next year... BYU is still finding its way in the uh, in the WAC, and there were not. I think the automatic bids weren't yet a thing at that point. So the first two years, no NCAA tournaments. But of the next 23 years, BYU has been in 20 NCAA brackets, missing in 2004, 2011, and 2017 is all. 
every other year they're in the dance. 20 and 23, not bad. Vaca, right wing Bueller. Brindley, a poke ahead to Mon. Ball tapped away from Mon, back to Brindley. Ball set, right flank. Tried to cut French, and French stood in front of Ella strong and tall, and then tapped out for a BYU throw with 11 minutes to go here at Southfield. BYU out shooting Boise tonight 18-5, to and the Cougs have still outshot every opponent they've faced this season. BYU will go to 19-0-1. They can hang on for 10-plus here in Provo. Brindley Bueller with a throw in the Cougars' final third. Off of Moore. Brindley couldn't control on the return. It'll be a Boise State throw. This BYU team's finished the season ranked in six of the last eight years. May make it seven of nine. They come into tonight ranked fourth by the coaches. In a very tough region, though. The number one, three, the, rather the number one, four, and eight teams are all in BYU's region. So three of the top eight in one quadrant. It's BYU's quadrant. Featuring number one overall seed Stanford. Only one team with more goals than BYU coming into this postseason was Stanford. And they've got the same assignment the Cougars have to get to San Jose in the region. Ballstead, the halfway stripe. Under 10 to go now. Ballstead, Mon, and Brockbank triangulate. And then the play is to the back line to Alyssa Jefferson. Jefferson. Center circle, Brockbank. Right wing, Ballstead. The former Utah Ute racing down the right flank on Lily French. Tried to cross from the goal line and didn't have the angle. It crawls over for a Boise State goal kick. Substitution Broncos checking back in will be Grace Kaufman Fuller. Also entering Julia Lewis for Boise State. Jen Rockwood should her team hang on tonight. We'll go to 394, 113, and 44 during the 400 win plateau. And again, BYU on the year is now sitting at 73 goals scored and counting. Remarkable stuff. By any measure, one of Jen's best teams ever. Kendall Peterson frees herself to the top of the penalty area. Shot and caught by Sidney Smith. Right at the bread basket from Petey. Smith no trouble with it. 8.45 to go. BYU 5 and Boise State 1. Cougars get 2 in the front, uh, two in the first half by Tucker and 3 in the back half from Shepard, Affleck, and Flake. Multiple assists for Braby. Multiple goals for Tucker. Do this. Cross coming from the left. A one-hop to Smith with 8.20 to go. Smith rolls it out to Turnek. A flick on in the neutral third to Vaca. Vaca working her way away from Kynette. The play is Petey. Petey and Maughan. Mon stood up, dispossessed. Kynette. Kynette near the halfway line. Plays Turnek. Coming back to win it away is Ballstedt to Bueller. Bueller leads for Ballstedt and too heavy for Ella. It'll be into touch and substitutions for BYU. Rachel McCarthy and Zoe Jacobs checking in as we get late in this one. More Zions Bank substitutions for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Danica Sarasio's night is done. So too Alyssa Jefferson. The senior center backs with some well-earned rest. The evening ends for those two with 7.20 to go. BYU's leads 5-1. to one. Comprehensive effort from the Cougs. Three players converge and fall to ground off that throw. Boise player slowest to get up is Sears, and she'll see a stoppage, injury stoppage, 7.09 to go. Try and stay in the match here. Shot totals, 19-5, to BYU. Shots on goal, 13-2, to BYU. 25 fouls in this game, 15 for Boise, 10 for the Cougs, and all nine corners tonight taken by the Cougars. BYU's seen the offside flag twice, Boise once. Shaktel free kick from 35 yards, angle left. Skies it just inside the penalty area. Turnak off a volley, well over the bar, and a goal kick for Sabrina Davis with under seven minutes to go. 
begins to restate all the favored teams in BYU's pod or portion of the quadrant have or will win tonight. Arkansas, Louis, NC State, Louisville, and BYU will set up next weekend's schedule of games here at Southfield. A nod down by Bueller. A play in the air and a header nicely played by Leveni Vaca. We're seeing Leveni Vaca, I think, uh, occupying a position she'll hold for a while here at BYU as some great seniors leave that back line. Kendall Peterson racing down the left wing. Great run by Petey. Petey's still on the dribble toward the end line and plays over the byline. Couldn't put it toward the box, and it'll be a goal kick for Boise State. And again, a stoppage. Had multiple clock stoppages tonight. Not sure what this one's for. What did you see, Ave? Boise State has oh, a player play. down at the yeah, end yeah. line. Yeah, I didn't see it. Right I'm, by the camera. I'm not well sure there. what happened to her. Yeah. She's in the vicinity of the camera, so you hope the player didn't actually collide with the, uh, the camera tripod there or maybe hit her head on the... Uh, I think she was in the area. Just kind of got tangled up with Petey's legs after the ball had already been played. Yeah. So she fell in the vicinity of the camera, and I don't think collided with it. Mm-mm. So that's what the uh, stoppage is for. Boise player down. They're going to have to get her well away across the field here. So she's being 10 to 2 on the end line, the BYU end line. Looking at her right shin right now. Not sure which player went down. I didn't see a number clean, clearly on that. Still taking care of her on the end line, but as she's off the pitch, they're going to continue play. So we've restarted here with 6.05 to play. BYU 5 and Boise State 1. Two in the first, three in the second for the Cougs. BYU giving a throw, and the Cougs attacking half. Cool but pleasant night here in Provo. No wind to speak of. Ella Ballstedt's tripped up from behind. Lost the ball out of control. It'll be a... They point to corner or goal kick on that? Corner for B- corner kick for BYU. Is that what the call was? Looks like yeah, that's what yeah, BYU's yeah, lining up for. Yeah, yeah. so it'll be a corner for BYU. T- uh, tenth corner of the night. Ten zip and corners. So Ballstead forced the action there and did win her team a corner from the attacking right flag. All right, 5-10 to go. The match leads B- match BYU leads 5-1. Low rip and off the feet of uh, McKaylee Moore to the right wing. And again a corner, corner number 11. Mountain America Credit Union corner kick brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union guiding you forward. So an SEC and two ACC teams will come to Provo next week. Okay. Arkansas, the Region 3 seat out of the SEC, and then Louisville and NC State out of the ACC with the WCC's BYU. Low corner played out by the Broncos with under five to go. Four and a half remain here at Southfield. Brockbank, top of the penalty D, right-footed shot. Off a deflection, bounces toward the keeper and handled by Smith. Had that gotten in clean, it had a lot on it. <laughs> yeah, and we've seen Ashton Brockbank score from the top of the D every time she's scored. <laughs> yeah, Brockbank does well with not a lot of shots. Mm-hmm. Six goals on ten shots on goal this year. Aubrey Chatterton gets into the area. And running to her and dispossessing her is Brindley Bueller, the plane to touch at the far side. Nice little burst of speed by Brindley there to win the ball away. It'll be a Boise throw in the Broncos' final third. We have 3.55 to play here at Southfield. Cougars 5, Broncos 1. BYU men's basketball team playing in Houston and leading 35-28 at halftime tonight. So great first half from Mark Pope's guys down at the Fertitta Center. Vaca, centrally Shepard. Uh, Davis, beg your pardon. Davis back to Leveni. As Zoe Jacobs at right back. Zoe coming up the right wing with three and a half to play. Sends Ballstead down the right boundary. Ballstead setting up a cross. Goes to the far post. Bounces to the dot. Played across the goal box and tracked down by Sidney Smith. Kendall Peterson got a touch to it. Not everything on it she would have liked. And it just kind of rolled across the goal box. Smith handles cleanly and plays away with three minutes even to go. Back 
Petey gets hung up in the center circle. Took a bit of a knock. The ball ahead to McCarthy. McCarthy. Speed. Dispossession by the Broncos. The play is to the center circle. Two and a half to go. And BYU will advance to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Big weekend next weekend here at Southfield. Two games Thursday, one game on Saturday. BYU hopes to be involved in both of them. McCarthy on the right touch line. Lays off Peterson. Petey ahead to Mon. Skipped off Ellie. Ellie recollects for the Cougs. Still with her back to goal. Conveys to Shepard. Shepard Peterson. Give away to the Broncos. Petey wins it back. Broncos take it right away. Petey on a tug. And that's a foul on Kendall Peterson. BYU's 12th foul of the night. The Boise's 15. The fun part about this group is that they're obviously new and, you know, want to get their opportunity, find the goal, make big tackles, but they are all being very well disciplined in the in the creative system that Jen Rockwood's given them. I'm sure she gave each of them instruction to come out, just keep the ball, play disciplined, and, and we're seeing a lot of that. 140 to go. 100 seconds remain. Leveni Vaca on BYU's back line as the Cougars play this one out. So Boise's fine season will end with 18 wins. BYU's will go to 19 and hopefully looking for more. Moore, McKaylee Moore, plays Zoe Jacobs down the right flank. Zoe, racing Turnek, Turnek with a tap on it. And there'll be another corner kick for BYU, the 12th of this night. 12-0, the corner kick tally for the Cougs on this evening with 70 seconds to play. Mountain America Credit Union gives us our corner kicks. Mountain America guiding you forward. Ella Ballstedt will do it again. We'll see if BYU decides to go short here or throw it in the mixer. So BYU advancing to the second round. Just seconds remain here at Southfield. Ella Ballstedt lining up a corner. So from the attacking right flag with 40 seconds to go. It's a mid-level driver and tapped over the crossbar. Was that McCarthy You got it? McCarthy coming across, volleys it out of the air. Smith taps over the bar. That was close to a butte in the final minute. Yeah, that was a world-class volley off of a driven corner and honestly met with a world-class save. <laughs> BY, or excuse me, Boise's goalkeeper was nowhere to be found and just all of a sudden her hand comes out of nowhere. Corner number 13 now coming from the attacking left flag with 15 seconds to go. It's punched in the air. Across to the near side of the goal area. We have 10 seconds to go. Zoe Jacobs plays to the top of the penalty D. Jamie Shepard has the ball knocked away from her. The play is Jacobs. Jacobs into the area. Headed over the goal line. That will do it. Final touch of the ball. And it was all BYU. After halftime, taking a 2-1 lead and finishing off with a 5-1 decision. Cougars advance to the second round of the NCAA tournament. It was a sold-out south field. And the home crown got a show. Cougars 5 and Broncos 1. BYU moving on to the second round in the dance. Good stuff. What a great game. I love the crowd that came out to watch. It was nice and, and warm tonight. Man, just it just feels like something's good is in the air for BYU. Obviously, we're not talking about anything else other than the game against Louisville from now on. But the cool thing about this group is that they're hungry, they're young, and they've got a lot of, I've got a lot of work left to do. So this very potent BYU team just keeps on scoring goals. They open up with the first two. Boise drew within one. Three more from the Cougs. And 5-1 is your final score. BYU will take on Louisville in the second round of the NCAA tournament next Thursday here at Southfield. Arkansas and NC State on the other half of the bracket. The winners will meet a week from tomorrow night back here at Southfield. The Cougars for the night are moving on. We'll come back with a postgame recap and interviews after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Need a night away, Cougar fans? Town Place Suites or Fairfield Inn & Suites by Marriott and Orem. 